Hello guys and a very warm welcome from the sunny United Kingdom. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I do my niche research for coloring books using just free tools. And that's not the number three, that's free, so non-paid tools. If you're looking to expand your KDP business and grow your income, then you've come to the right video. Because honestly guys, coloring books are killing it right now. Of the 100 bestsellers, Amazon bestsellers in books, the only one that comes up that is low and no content is a coloring book. If I go on these subsections here, if I click on art and photography, for example, you scroll down and then all you see from the low and no context sessions are coloring books. Look at that. Adult coloring book ranked 159. Another coloring book ranked 217. This one's independently published as well. I think that one is, yep, independently published. We've got another independently published one here. And you get the picture, guys. Honestly, coloring books are killing it. This is the way forward, in my opinion. Coloring books, absolutely amazing. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to me already, then do give this channel a subscribe, especially if you're into videos about self-publishing. And of course, if you have subscribed and you do watch my videos and you interact with them, then I just wanna say a massive thank you to you lot because your support doesn't go unnoticed and it lets me know that my YouTube channel is going in the right direction. But more importantly, it also, lets me know that I'm bringing out videos that you guys find useful. If you want to see any other videos and you have suggestions on videos uh, that you'd like me to bring out that would help you with your KDP or self-publishing business, then drop a comment below. And of course, if you haven't joined my Facebook group already, then give that a joining for a community of self-publishers with the mutual goal of being successful through publishing online. There's a competition in there at the moment whereby if you comment on the post where you are from in the country, then you get automatically get in with a chance of winning a £50 cash prize, which is roughly U 62 US dollars. So join that competition if you haven't done so already. They close midday on Saturday. And lastly, if you are new to KDP, then go watch the Residual Royalty Academy free course. It's gonna help you get used to publishing on KDP. And if you're looking to grow your income with the same course that me and so many other people have taken, then check the Royalty Accelerator course. The link is in the description below. It should be discounted if you do click that link to $99 from 125. And there has been some really, really good results in here. So give that a check in if you haven't done so already. But otherwise, guys let's get into the topic of the video which is how to do your niche research for your coloring books using just free tools so guys first of all we're going to look at the niche research strategy roadmap now this is just a heads up to say that some of the content in this video is going to be very very similar to some of the content in other niche research videos that I do um, this is specific for coloring books but some of the things that I say in here are repeated in other videos so if this is sounding very familiar to you you're welcome to skip through this bit to the part where I do the actual niche research on the Amazon but if you haven't seen this then this is the niche research strategy roadmap that we are going to use. So we're gonna be finding niches on the Amazon marketplace. Now we're gonna go on amazon.com in an incognito window in Chrome in a little while. And then we're going to be typing in words and we're just generally doing this to find a niche that has two criteria that needs ticking off. We need a niche with a good rank. So books within this niche need to have a good rank. This isn't a specific number or BSR that we need to be looking at, but generally it needs to support some really, really good sales data. And of course, coloring books take longer to make as well. So we want a good return of our investment. So we might put the bar lower for this one. I'm going to generally go over it in a little bit uh, when we get on the Amazon marketplace. But generally speaking, a good rank is below a BSR of 100,000. And we're also looking for low competition. So low competition, generally speaking, is competition below 1,000. I would do niche research like this for coloring books for maybe an hour at a time. Um, and like, this isn't guaranteed to find you results. You might find results where competition's at 1,500, or you might have some 
uh, you know, books that generally have an okay rank. They might have a BSR of 200,000, but don't fit this criteria that we're still going to record in an Excel. So the Excel file is going to look like this. And we're going to record everything that we do on here. And we're generally going to pick the best ones if we haven't found some that hit that criteria. But that's what we're looking for. Good rank and low competition. Now, if you haven't done so already, then download these free extensions for Chrome. Now I think they're Chrome exclusive. So if you use Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, anything like that, I don't think these will work, but I might be wrong because I've never tried. Um, but generally we want to download DS Amazon Quick View. So this is a Chrome extension. It's absolutely free. All the ones here I recommend are free. So DS Amazon Quick View is gonna paint the BSR on top of every product. So if I search current books straight away, then DS Amazon Quick View, you paint the BSR on top of the book as it appears in the search. So it saves me a lot of time having to click on the product and scrolling down to see the BSR. So this is really, really good for niche research. Number two is Amazon Suggestion Expander. So if I type something in the search bar on Amazon, say coloring book, then this is going to give me suggestions based on how I could expand this search result. So um, it will put keywords before and keywords after. So things to do with keyword before are things like uh, they might put dog coloring book um, and keywords after could be things like coloring book for kids. They're going to put these um, as suggestions based on the search volume for these keywords. So Amazon Suggestion Expand is really good for niching down those niches. And of course, number three is Helium 10 Free. So Helium 10 Free is going to give us a better picture of how a book's BSR has performed over time. And it's going to help us sniff out any sort of seasonality uh, within the books that we're going to be making. Um, but these are the free I generally recommend you download. Obviously they will have paid versions, but the free ones suffice. I think you have to make an account with all of them as well. Um, I might be wrong with that actually. With Helium 10, you definitely have to make an account, but the other two you might get away with not making an account. And number four is keywords everywhere. This is a bit of a bonus. This one's not actually free. So this is an incorporated in the video. Um, but prior to October 2019, this used to be a free tool. So if you watch older videos on KDP niche research, then this will come up as a free tool to use. Um, but essentially keywords everywhere puts the search volume against each keyword. So it's really helpful in knowing uh, the demand for every keyword that comes up. It's not essential. It's, uh, it's good to have. I think it costs $10 for 100,000 keywords to come up. So it's not very expensive if you have $10 lying around, but um, it goes against what we've said in the title, which is free tools only. So we're not gonna incorporate keywords everywhere in this video. Now let's get to it guys as well. So I'm gonna open an incognito window and that's gonna come up right there. So I'm just gonna type in amazon.com and we're gonna change the address to 90210 so we're going to type that in every time i'm going to take us to beverly hills an american address if your address is not in america then they will hide some of the results because they won't be able to deliver to your region so it's going to skew your results so you want to keep that there and you also want to change your settings so that the your extensions show up in this window as well if they haven't shown up then in the other window you want to click these three buttons here the three dots sorry in the top right hand corner click on settings and just change your settings down here where it says extension and you're going to change the extensions that you want uh, to be allowed in incognito which is just down at the bottom here you can see it's an on off switch just turn that on and then your extensions should come up in the incognito window so there you have it so once that's all set guys we're going to type in coloring book and we're going to do the american spelling for coloring as well you can see tons of suggestions have come up with amazon suggestion expander um, we're just going to type in coloring book to show you an example so we're going to look for competition based on what it says up here so one out of 16 over 80,000 results so this keyword this niche has over 80,000 results, 80,000 competitions. So if I were to write this down, look at that, rank 159. So this is uh, DS Amazon Quick View showing you the ranks. So there's some really serious ranks, 59, some really serious ranks for key, uh, for coloring books. If we were to turn to write this down in Excel, if I just typed in coloring book here, 
then we would say the search volume is very high but also we've got 80,000 competition so this is how I'd format that Excel as we go along we're just going to search things but to get the niches we're going to go on a website called word lists so again you might have seen this before in one of my previous videos but basically this is going to give you so many different ideas for um, niches that you could do for coloring books now let's have a look here so these in itself constitute as a niche so you can literally just copy the words that they've written down here or you can click on anything so if i click on dogs it's going to give me different types of dogs and it's a really really good way to niche down those niches for it so if i type in dog coloring book i think this is going to give us an extremely high search result so four thousand actually that's not that that high if I give that a quick refresh, yeah, it's still over 4,000. Okay, so dog coloring book actually has a really, really good ranks. So they're all five figure BSRs. Um, this one's a four figure BSR, look, lovable dogs coloring book, but it's got over 4,000 results. So I would already write that one down, dog coloring book. Now note that it doesn't hit the criteria. Like we want to find typically one under 1,000, but 4,000 isn't very far off the mark. So we're going to keep that one in there anyway. Um, but we're going to niche that down further. Let's see what happens if we put a specific type of dog. I'm going to go for something quite common. Labrador, I think I'm going to do. Well, yeah, let's just do Labrador dog. Labrador. So that's got 107. So these ranks are actually pretty, pretty good i mean 286,000. it might not fill the criteria for some people but we're going to keep an eye on that 211,000 there let's have a look in this one for example um, and this is where helium 10 comes into play really nicely look at that 12 dollars and 95 cents that's actually crazy um so you can scroll down you can scroll down um oops too far sorry guys um to the helium 10 graph here and you can see that if we went on it, for example, on 5th of April of this year, 2020, the rank would have been 95,000. And if you saw that at 95,000, that would have told me, yes, this is absolutely one that I'm going to get. But look at that. It's BSR. It does definitely sell. You can see the sales have been picking up uh, and things like that over this period. I mean, that's not bad at all. For the price of 12.95 as well, that's a really nice book. So um, let's scroll down to see if it's independent. Yeah, so it's independently published. 2016 it was made. Um, so it's been up here for a while. Um, and what we're going to do as well is we're going to look um, at some of the reviews. So pretty much has a really, really good review. Look, realistic bare bones sketches. So it's not a complicated book to make at all, is it? That's actually crazy. It was a gift. Look, this has got a lot of five-star reviews. So this coloring book in itself is a very good coloring book. It's a very good niche. They're going to be making tons of money off just this coloring book. And it says volume four as well. So it's not the only one that they've made. So that in itself is a niche that I'm definitely going to put down. Look, it's got 107 results. So it satisfies um, the niche um for that so 107 is lower than 1000 that's really good and we've got a decent rank here as you just saw if i clicked on this on the 5th of april in 2020 this would have been ranked 95,000. so it paints a better picture of how the book's done over time it's definitely selling more recently than it was before as the graph was getting more concentrated and it was going down so if i type in what we just typed up here labrador.coloring book we're going to put that in there we're going to put 107 as this was oops we're going to put the demand here as medium and we're going to put that at 107 competition now i'm really happy with that find already that's something i'd probably highlight in green because it's something i'd wanted to um it doesn't look too complicated to get pictures of labradors change them into outlines and then stick them in a book so that's something i'd immediately consider doing now labrador is probably like the most uh known dog maybe pug actually let's try pug so this one has 334 results so immediately satisfies uh the competition um metric here so we just need to look down to see if there's demand for it now 699 that's not bad going for uh, a black and white book 103,000. let's click on this one let's see what happens 
on this coloring book here then so we're going to look inside this coloring book okay so i have to sign into view more but essentially it's going to look like that that's not so hard to make again they probably got those images of free sites now that's not bad at all is it so you can see that the ranks are really really good for this pug notebook it's at 6.99 so the profits margin is less than the previous one and it is create space as well so it's an independently published one again this is another coloring book i choose to make coloring books seem to be very untapped niche shit look at that so that's got a medium search volume and that's got competition 334 so again i would probably go ahead and make that and guys that's sort of the premise of what we're doing i mean you've shown you two really good examples already i mean this video could have gone either way if you look on my notebooks one the niche research that i did for notebooks um you can see that it didn't go so so well but for this one here i found two good niches uh, as my first two examples. Now that's quite uncommon when I do my niche research. So this is a really, really good tactic. And I've shown you a really good website to pull tons of niches from as well. So I would continue doing that. I mean, I'm quite encouraged by what I've seen. I've you only used three tools and I've found two good niches. Um, so those two books I'll probably put ahead to making. Um, and I'll just keep doing that, guys. I'll keep doing that. There's a whole website full of words here can't believe i'm giving this away for free guys this is crazy um but honestly just go through all these words click on each one and um this is a really really good way to niche down your niches if you need to niche down your words even further then just go on the search bar up here type in something like dog coloring book and um try and type that k in afterwards and then let amazon suggestion expander do the work for you look at that look dog color and book golden retrievers so they're going to come up with some suggestions here so again another really good example some of it has got the rank look at that thirty six thousand on this one i think this is that's not a coloring book um this is an independently published here we are there's an independently published one 105 rank um and yeah it's just crazy guys I've not found a bad niche yet. This one's 134, so I could probably type in this at the top here. Type that in as a medium search one and put that at 104. And again, I found yet another good niche. Guys, this is really, really untapped stuff. So um, really go ahead and do your niche research for coloring books this way. Um, but guys, that's how I do it for coloring books. It's really, really, really lucrative, guys. Honestly, get head if you're thinking about doing coloring books and start now this is how i'll do the research and maybe in a later video i'll do a video on how i would go about making the coloring books and finding the images um, for these books but otherwise guys thanks for watching this video i think that's been pretty much it for me um, if you do have any questions ask them below in the comment section uh, and if you didn't understand anything likewise add some comments and i will answer them but otherwise guys thanks for watching this video really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch it and i will see you guys on saturday